Look, stop jumping up for the chicken wings. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if you're new. Let me not be rude. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me, quick yeah. jump out for you, let it get inside of me. I tell them where to put it, never tell them where I'm about to be. I'll run down on the bar, have a nigga running me. Talk your s, bite your dip. Ask for a call while you ride that s. Really ain't never got him looking for a thing. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. It's me, T to the A to the E. For y'all that don't know how to spell, I am Tay and I'm back with the mother freaking video. In today's video, as y'all read by that title, I will be answering some uh, juicy, spicy questions. In other words, I will be playing hot ones, truth or dab. Honestly, before this video even gets started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not a part of Team Tay, what are you waiting for? Hit that notification bell. Join the team. We're such a vibe. Oh, shit. Disclaimer, I took four shots before this video, so that's a little tea or whatever. I went to Wingstop and I got some wings. I got a 10 piece combo, not even a combo because I didn't get the fries. I got a 10 piece wing, all flats. I ate two, so now I have like eight wings left. So I gotta answer all these questions. I got some juicy questions written down in my notes. So if I don't want to answer that, I'm going to have to dab a little hot sauce. Mind y'all, this is the last dab of hot sauce on these wings and eat the wings. I'm kind of nervous because I've been eating hot stuff all day, so I'm not nervous about the questions. I'm more so nervous about my toilet and my, you know, anal area. So, ooh, pray for me. Anyways, let's draw. Let's see. Disclaimer, I can't read. So, for y'all that don't know, it's me, D today, today, for y'all that can't smell, I can't read a little bit. Bear with me, okay? It says, you just pooped into a public restroom and realized there is no toilet paper. What do you do? Shit, what do I do? I'm gonna get the brown thing, <laughs> you know the thing, and then the toilet paper comes on, and I'm gonna just use that. I know that's a little unsanitary, but it's really unsanitary if you don't wipe it off, so. I think that's pretty smart. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, next one, I'm gonna draw from this pile now. It says, What's the worst thing that happened to you? The worst thing that happened to me was I got abducted. Is that the word? No. I got kidnapped. That's the worst thing that ever happened to me. The kidnapping situation. And yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. But that's the worst thing that happened to me. And that's just crazy because it's like, damn, y'all want me? And me? I am not fit for this. Y'all don't want me. Like, why y'all? Did I tell 
Hey, I got these wings from Wingstop. Oh yeah, I think I did. Okay. No, you don't wanna jump up for this. This that hot one. You don't wanna jump up for this. Okay. Oh, let me show y'all so y'all don't think I'm cap. Hold on, let me do the beauty guru style. Bitch, what the fuck? This the wing. I'm scared to smell it. Let me just smell it. Mmm, it smells like armpits. Should I be eating this? <laughs> Should I be eating this? I'm nervous. Why it smell like that? The rule is, I mean, not the rule, but the tip is, don't let it touch the, the side of your mouth, your tongue, or your lips, and you'll be good. So here we go. Sorry if I'm 
spitting everywhere. It really don't matter. Y'all, y'all ain't here. Shit, fuck it. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but fuck it. I don't really miss my ex, but I kind of miss, like, kind of, but not really. But not really, but kind of. But it's leaning more on the not really side. But it's like, damn, I still have thoughts because, you know, we was in a relationship for almost, what, three, four years? So it's just like, damn, I do have them thoughts. But it's just like, it's almost a year since I've been single. Leading up to my next question, it says, have you had any more sneaky links since that one that just wasn't so sneaky? Honestly, no, I have not had any more sneaky links and bitch, and that sneaky link was supposed to be a sneaky link. I'm done with them damn, oh bitch, stuff flying in the air. I'm done with them motherfucking sneaky links. So because the sneaky link, the link part is cool, but the sneaky part, they don't have to be sneaky, bitch. So I'm done with that shit. My next one, he gonna start off as a sneaky link though. Don't get me wrong. Oh y'all, this wing is not playing. Mixed with the Takis and the hot Cheetos I ate earlier. I already feel it in my stomach. Yeah, I have not been having no more sneaky links after that because I realized sneaky links aren't so sneaky. So it's just like, bitch, I just been trying to focus on myself. Really, just trying to learn myself, figure myself out, and honestly, see what I really like and see who I really like. But honestly, Oh, I still haven't, you know, came to that agreement with my thoughts and myself on what I like. Bitch, I can't talk, but on what I like. Anyways, next question. I'm gonna go for my notes because I feel like throwing up. Hold on. This game just went all the way left. I thought I was gonna be a G and answering all these questions, no wing. Now I'm looking at these wings like, Lou, you want them? Okay, next question that y'all just been dying to know. Am I looking, oh, it's not a chair for me. I'm embarrassed. Sound like I'm in a Am I looking for another relationship? Honestly, I was. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I was looking for another relationship, but it seemed like every time I'm looking, I'm blind, cause I don't got my glasses on. So it's just like, ugh. And every time, I'm looking, it just don't go as I plan it to go. So it's just like, at this moment in time, no, I'm not looking, but it would be great if I had somebody by my side, somebody to like kiss, hug, cuddle with, you know, have a little sex or something, but no. I'm not looking for no, no relationship, but I would like a relationship, not gonna lie. Because I'm the relationship type of gal. Like, I love to be under somebody, not even under. I love to just have that, Secureness. I love to be cuddled. I love to be, you know, just loved. I love to love. This whole motherfucking year, I learned that I need somebody. Like, me being by myself, it's like, I can't even lift this. I can't even build this. I can't even put together this. I can't even, you know, do the manly handyman shit. So it's like, fuck, do I need somebody? But my stomach feel very much like an exorcism going on in there. This ain't no joke. <laughs> this shit ain't no joke. That ain't gonna be, yeah, next question. I just be feeling like, like how you talking? You just ain't that damn shit. You good. Would you date another female or was your ex the last one? I always told my ex that if we ever break up, you would be the only and last female that I date. So if we get back together, that's just one thing. If we don't, y'all gonna see me with my man. <laughs> I'm my man's over here, and I ain't talking about Lulu jumping up in the air. I'm talking about like my man's man's. But if me and my ex were to like mend our differences, then that's a different story. But from the looks of it, baby, that ain't that ain't. That ain't gonna happen because we just both have too much pride and I don't think my pride that big actually. Damn, why this gotta be a paragraph? Y'all look at this, this is a paragraph. Okay, it says, you're about to go out and celebrate your birthday with everyone here. It says, if you had to pick one person to stay back, who would it be? Damn, Blue, we ain't celebrating. He the only one here. But it says person, so I guess me and Lou, we living it up for my birthday. 
Ooh, ooh, love that. What was the last time you ghosted someone? It don't say when, it says what. So what was the last time you ghosted somebody? Honestly, the last time I ghosted somebody was... Y'all, okay. I know this is random, but is my knee looking weird? <laughs> is my knee? It's just poking. Oh, how y'all get rid of the scars? Because I was a rough kid as a kid, and I got scars on my knees. And I, I hope nobody think I be on my knees because I don't. It's just I was a rough kid as a kid. Like I used, I used to play football, so it's just like, damn, why I do that? Things aren't always selling smooth in the bedroom. Tell us your most embarrassing sex story and don't hold back. <laughs> All right, y'all. So my most embarrassing sex story would have to be with my sneaky link. Like literally, the nigga thought he could pull my hair. Like it's real, bitch. It's a lace front. Well, it was a lace front. And literally, my lace was slowly slipping back. And mind y'all, I can't. Never mind, I don't wanna get too in depth. I don't wanna get red black. The nigga that did my hair, he did it so motherfucking perfect. Like my hair was giving wet lace. And yeah, that shit was slowly slipping back. It's so embarrassing, but that's my most embarrassing sex story. And that shit real embarrassing. Like what? Trying to be cute and just one hand on front of no bitch, don't do that to me. Don't grip that shit like you on a horse. Don't do that. Like, fuck this cost, this cost money. And nobody got time for that shit. Shit, I gotta wake up the next morning. Like, what? You find the magic lamp. What are your three wishes? Okay, my first, my first wish would be Everybody that I meet, including myself, would just be nothing but loving. Like, we just give off nothing but loving energy. My second wish would have to be, and me and my family will be set for life. Baby, we got that mafia. I mean, <laughs> my man. <laughs> anyway. um, my second wish would be, me and my family would be set for life. Literally, we have unlimited funds. Like, bitch, we are never running that type of shit. Like, it's raining money. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's raining money. And my third would have to be everybody around me will remain happy with no stress, no negativity, including myself. And just positive, good fun vibes in times like that's it like for real those are my three wishes the clock is ticking when are you planning on getting in yet wow i will be this one huh okay let me just finish reading let me just reread it because i know my eyes ain't just read engaged anyways the clock is ticking when are you planning on getting engaged to your partner if you're married, tell us how slow you were to top the question. I ain't got no partner, so I guess that ain't for me. Why did your last relationship end? Just give the juicy deets. Damn, nosy, nosy. Okay, honestly, my last relationship ended because I, I would say tweeted. I didn't even tweet. I posted on Instagram, on my Instagram story what I posted and then my ex told me that I cannot come back from that. So yeah, that's how it really ended. Even if I did apologize, like it was no coming back from that. And yeah, and plus I broke up with my ex, but it was just like, y'all know how y'all be like, oh, I'm done with you. But really, I don't know, I can't explain it. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, next question, because I don't want to talk too much about my ex, because I know she's in a relationship right now, which I'm happy for her. As long as she happy, I'm happy. I'm that type of person, well, I'm that type of ex slash person that be like, you happy? You good? <laughs> Me too? What up? But deep down, I ain't good. <laughs> I ain't happy. I've been going through traumatic shit. Traumatic slash dramatic slash why 
Why am I going through this shit? Like, yeah, I've been going through that. Anyways, it's life. I'm learning and I love that for me. What sexual activity do you consider totally off limits? Oh, I would have to say me eating somebody else's ass. Like, I don't care if y'all would like to try eating my ass because I can eat wax. Like, my ass is a mood. Like, I think it's edible. I don't know, but I do shit a lot and I do fart a lot, so maybe not. But if y'all would like to eat my ass, I'm down. But me eating somebody else's ass, yeah, that's just off limits. I ain't doing that, baby. No, no, no. That is off limits. Like, you. Tell us about the worst parental punishment you've ever received. Honestly, the worst parental punishment. Okay, so my mama whooped me. No, the worst parental punishment, I would have to say not having Christmas. Like, I got caught smoking or whatever. Well, I ain't get caught. My brother snitched on me. No, he didn't. He sure didn't snitch on me. My bad if you watching this. I doubt you watching this. But if mama showed you this, my bad. You ain't snitch. Um, my worst punishment was when I didn't have Christmas. And let me tell y'all why I didn't have Christmas. So, I decided I was about 13, 12, 13, something. Round at age, <laughs> like, um, I decided, I wanna, you know. <laughs> so, I did that, and I know that what I was smoking was exotic. So, a bitch started going, yeah. So, I'm spreading down the, I'm spreading down the road. She was Usain Bolt, so I'm gone. I'm high, I'm chopping it. <laughs> I'm real life gone. And I see a car coming towards me. And I'm just like, oh, a car. Stop. <laughs> My job in the middle of the street. Tell myself, like, stop. <laughs> and to find out that car was my pops and he got out that car so quick man he got out that car so quick and he was just like fast forward he told my mom he was the one that snitched not my brother my bad he snitched on me and my mama called me furious <laughs> like she was upset <laughs> shouldn't have been doing that but whatever I need it and she took away Christmas and I'm just like whatever she talking you know my mama just be talking I be like whatever she ain't serious I'm gonna still have some presents when I go back to Houston nah bitch I ain't have it and I was so upset I ain't talked to my mama for a good month or three <laughs> like I was dead ass and mad <laughs> like mind you I was down there with my pops and I knew I wasn't getting nothing I ain't getting nothing. I knew I wasn't getting nothing. So I'm just like, cool. I didn't really expect much, but it it would be nice if I got a little surprise or something. But whatever, I ain't getting that. So I'm just like, whatever. I'm waiting to go back with my mama. I know she got me some. I know I'm getting all the gifts I asked for, whatever. Nah, that wasn't the case. I ain't getting shit. And that shit was just ooh, crazy because she really took away Christmas. <laughs> like, the Grinch that stole Christmas.
It says, tell us about a time you hooked up with someone and you shouldn't have. Okay, I would say my sneaky link. Like, I should never hooked up with a nigga. Like, I shouldn't have never did that because after I did that, it seemed like everything just said, lesson, 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 lesson. Like, damn, only all these lessons. Bitch, I learned from the first lesson. But they just kept coming back to back to back to back. <laughs> like, fuck, literally. Yeah, I should never did them hookups. Who's the most surprising person to slide into your text message, DMs, or inbox? I don't really have a most surprising. Yes, I do. The DM I got the other day. I really don't want to expose that DM. But I was surprised. I'm like, damn, I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you on the TV or whatever. I'm a nigga wing to that. I don't want to expose nobody. No, he is not the most surprising. This the most surprising DM I got was that one rapper. What was his name? Fuck, I'm gonna take the wing. Cause I'm not about to go back in my DMs and look for it. Mm mm. Take that wing. Y'all can see I dabbed some um hot sauce. Whatever, this is more than hot sauce. This is just the last dab, y'all. Uh. I'm about to take another wing. Let me dab a little more on this side. Oh shit, y'all, this hot for real. I'm really trying to just eat through it. Tell us about a time you almost died. Okay. So I was driving on I-10 to be exact. I was out, I was just diving. I was driving on I-10 and I almost went under an 18-wheeler. Like I know y'all thinking like bitch, no you didn't. Yes, I did. And then before like Literally five minutes before I almost went under the 18 wheeler, I literally almost, not even five, it was like 15. I almost crashed, like kissed, not even kissed, rear ended this a truck. So yeah, thank God I made it out. I didn't hit nobody. I didn't go under the, bitch, I can't talk. I did not go under no 18 wheeler. I made it out alive, but yeah, that's the time I almost died. That's one of the time. Cause bitch, this year has been crazy. I almost died a lot. And I'm just like, damn. Tell us a secret no one knows about you. Okay, a secret that no one knows about me is that I can talk to the hogs. I mean, y'all probably already know that because y'all didn't see me tell this nigga to sit and he sat. Like, y'all didn't see me tell this nigga high five and he said, <laughs> like. <sighs> tell us the story of the first time you masturbated. Damn, I poured a lot of hot sauce on this. I'm gonna have to feel this one. Heart. <coughs> Say 
my earlobes. I think they're pretty hot. Love the earlobes. They're really... What's the word? Overlooked. A lot of people don't look at my earlobes, but I think they're pretty hot the way they carry my earrings. Okay, y'all, this is the end of the video. My camera actually died. It's currently uh, the next two days. Oops. <laughs> Honestly, let me explain what happened after the video cut off. Literally, I ate the wing and I felt like I was on fire. I'm not even making it up. Like, I literally felt like I was on fire. And I got in the shower. That shit didn't help. I was eating ice. That didn't help i ate the rest of that frostbite ass ice cream that sh didn't help literally i was on fire i literally slept naked but whatever i guess y'all can care less if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not a part of team Tay, what are you waiting for hit that notification bell join the team or such a vibe i can't go too far without giving y'all a little advice of the day and my advice of the day from Tay will have to be as always stay positive stay blessed never stress and on that note i'm out i love you guys bye look at this dude <laughs>